All right, February 3rd, update time. I've done a couple reviews and now it's back to doing barn updates. So we'll do a couple different updates, one for the property in general, and then we're gonna walk up to the barn. So uh, for the gate, which I showed a picture yesterday, that was the one with the Stegosaurus with my Winston's face on it. Um, the upright was finished a while ago. I obviously put that up. You can't really see it, but there's actually swinging gates on it. Let's see if I can get an angle on it. Um, obviously I'm not just gonna put uprights on the darn thing and then just leave it there. That'd be kind of embarrassing and kind of stupid. Like I could just put my name on a mailbox and that would accomplish the task. But um, they installed the swinging gates yesterday. Um, so they installed those. Um, obviously I'm not just gonna leave it with swinging gates, not a fence, but there's gonna be a fence that comes out up and then goes the length of the property all the way down to that far, far tree line over there. And then it'll come out, go up, and then across, and it'll go all the way over to this gentleman's driveway over there. Um, so it'll look pretty cool. So I'm excited for that. And then we'll also have like a ring, a ring on there. Ring, is it a ring doorbell, something like that? So, so I can see people showing up. You have a, a passcode or whatever the case may be. Um, there'll be a, a retinal scanner. I'm just kidding. Um, okay, so barn update. So we're gonna start here and then work our way back. Barn update is, this telephone pole, I believe it's this telephone pole, the electrical company has to tie into, or it might be that one, I'm not sure. They, they put markers on both of them. They have to tie into one of these power poles for the power to the barn. Um, unfortunately, the electrical company said these power poles are too old, but one of them, whatever, which one they're using it like is too crappy, so we need to replace it. So to replace it, um, because it's been pretty wet, it's been raining and it's been somewhat warm. The ground is super, super soft. And also because we tied our water into this hydrant here or a uh, water line here, the ground's just too soft around here. And so the power company can't get out and replace the power pole until it gets really, really cold, which is hopefully next week. So we won't have the barn, the barn won't have power till probably next week, which really kind of sucks. Um, but anyways, let's take a walk to the barn. So they did actually install the water. So the water's hooked into that, to that uh, hydrant there. Um, and then of course they dug the lines, obviously back to the barn from here. So here's where the line is. I know really ruined my just absolutely gorgeous lawn. It's just so ruined right now. <laughs> um, so the water line's installed. Um, they gotta do the, the power like I just said. Of course, that's gonna take until it gets a lot colder, which is, that's, under, that's understandable. I'm gonna slip on this mud. The worst part about living out here right now is a muddy freaking mess everywhere. Um, so they've also got the propane tank installed or the propane tank here. I don't think the line's not installed just yet, but the propane tank's here. And so that'll get installed this week. The goal was to be done by this Friday. So that's like the fifth or sixth, whatever that is, this upcoming Friday. That's not gonna happen because of the power pole. So the power won't be installed. So we'll have everything in here pretty much except for the front and the back door uh, won't be installed, but that's okay. I can still insulate them myself and still deal with it. Um, but the, uh, the power's not in here, so I can't put heat, I can't put lights, I can't do anything really unless I wanna bring candles in. So propane tanks there. It's hooked in. We're gonna bury that thing so I don't have to stare at it. Um, now we're inside. So like I mentioned, we still have to insulate. We're gonna insulate this door for sure with some tarps and some insulation. This door gets in on uh, the 14th of the month. So this door will get replaced. I'm not gonna worry about insulating that at all. But this one I'll for sure have to because that door is not gonna come in till March, um, like early March. The bathroom tile is in. So the bathroom's ready. Actually, the vanity's in, I didn't even know that. So the vanity's in, the bathroom tile got installed yesterday. They're gonna come clean it up. Then the toilet will get installed there. And then they still have to do um, this little water fountain thingy. Um, like I've talked about, like the ones that you can see at airports is in a box over here, so they'll install that. And then we've got all the lights over here that are ready to get installed. So I can actually show you lights now, guys. How exciting. So lights. Remember the lights I was talking about, the pendant lights that hang? This is it. It's freaking humongous. Um, they look like that. 
And so those are going to go in every other bay in the frame. So they're going to start in the second bay, right? So you can see the cord there. They'll start in the second bay and then skip every other. The only difference is I believe there are 11 or 13, 11 or 13 bays. So the, the last one, we're going to have two at the end that aren't going to have lights in them because we didn't want to put a light next to the wall. That just looked weird, especially since the, the propane heater is going to be right there. One of, one of the heaters will be right there and the other one's gonna be right there. Um, so those are the big old pendant lights that are gonna hang. Um, I believe these are the can lights that are gonna go in uh, up here, quite a few of them. Also, I think I, the last one's off all the way down there, but whatever. Um, mirror for the bathroom. And then of course, we've got some, uh, some I don't even know what you call this light, string light. Kelly's going to have string lights that are going to go across. I know what you're thinking. Aren't you going to do rope climbs? Yes. Does it look like I'm in charge? Um, and then finally, this is the water fountain thingy that's going to go on the wall over there. So, things are coming along. Um, it wasn't going to It was gonna be this Friday, but now it's going to get pushed back another week probably until they can get the electrical work, the, the pull in for the electrical company, and then get power in here. But everything in that meantime will be done. As for the floor and the rig, the rig will be done getting powder coated black on the 9th of this month. And then I'm thinking I will have the floor installed on the 8th or 9th also. And so I'm going to do the floor first. And then after the floor, I'll put the rig on top of it. And like I've talked about, just as a heads up, the rig will go the length or a portion of this wall. Um, and I sunk a, there's an extra one over there, but I sunk a 2 by 12 behind the OSB so we can mount the rig straight to the wall. So it's not like just that the OSB will be to a uh, 2 by 12. So anyways, that's my update for today. Hopefully that makes sense. If you have any questions, let me know. Other than that, have a great day and we'll talk to you guys later. See ya.